Sak passe, family. So today I'm coming with a quick tutorial celebrating November 2nd, which is the Day of the Dead in Haitian voodoo tradition. So what you have in front of you here is just a setup really quickly of how to get Baon Samdi, Mama Brigitte, Papa Gede, the whole Gede clan's favorite drink in the whole wide world is none other than Babaku or rum, period, but the Babaku's top choice, okay, soaked in scotch bonnet. Jamaican hot, sometimes it's called peppers, all right? They're all about the spice life. They're coming from the after, afterlife or the dead. And this right here don't phase them, all right? This actually is used to prove who's telling the truth when it comes to them coming down and, some, and mounting someone. So what we got here is you're going to grab yourself, of course. Your rum is already here. Open up the top. Before you begin with anything, since it's spices, make sure you put your gloves on. It's important. Right? We got to make sure we don't burn off our eyes or anything crazy like that, right? So have some gloves. And for this particular situation, gently, you can wash through, of course, your peppers, like I just did, and start slicing very thin, very thin, until you're counting up to 21 pieces. That is the whole key of this. It's 21 pieces of the pepper that need to be in the babaco, in the rum. So here we go, just want to count off. And you can mix it up, get as colorful as you want. I love these peppers because they have such a pretty color to them. So they look really nice when it's time for you to put them in the bottle. Um, here we go. I'll take from here. You know, you can just cut up, but you're cutting up real thin. You're doing a count in your head mentally for 21 pieces, okay? So once you get to that, as I'm just cutting, you know, trying to get it all good, and like I said, I may use different colors just to make it pretty. Yeah, it'll always be pretty when it comes to it. Anyway, so after you're done getting these 21 pieces going or whatnot, right? Very simple. Once you're finished, what you're doing is you're grabbing all of them and slowly, one by one, taking the pieces and putting them into the Bible cook, into the bottle here, okay? Little by little. Be careful. You got your gloves, so you should be okay. You spicing up the life. Now, cool trick and tip about this is that when you go to celebrate them at the cemetery, or if you're getting an altar made for them, okay, to celebrate the dead, you can have this up there, but you have to take a drink. You got to take a sip of it. So I'm just letting you know, if they get some, how you venerate and honors, you got to have a little too. So these are going to soak. This is going to soak in the rum, okay? You're going to close back up the top. Shake it, get a nice shake going on, right? And then you can just set that there. You can take this with you to the cemetery when you want to pour libations to honor your dead and honor Mama Brigitte, Baon Samedi, the whole crew. This is their favorite drink. So paying respects to them is as simple as going it with that spicy rum, with that pima, and getting it popping, okay? So I just wanted to make sure that you guys always take precaution with the gloves. It's 21 pieces of the Scotch bonnet, or they call it Jamaican hot peppers, okay? And today's November 2nd. So, bonne fête gede, bonne fête bon samedi, maman Brigitte, gede ni beau, uh, uh, papa gede, okay? The whole crew, such the biggest crew in terms of voodoo. Nation de gede, all right? So everybody have a happy, happy, happy rest of your week and weekend but this is just a tutorial to get us popping okay peace out family